Hey guys, today we are going to show you the largest cathedral in all of Scandinavia. Welcome to This is also a school, but this is for adults. Science of the park. And if we didn't have the big truck in front of us, you would be able to see the cathedral. <laughs> we need a little bit of it. We will be passing by. This is the hospital and they are uh, rebuilding Maybe. half of it, so it's, uh, it's construction work, but all this is a hospital and it's one of the biggest hospitals that we have in Sweden. Oh. Over, over there, that's the castle, the, the like pink, pink, pink orange building, but it's, there are a lot of trees in the way now, but you can see the top of it over there. Or yeah, this is the big one. Now you can see it more. Mm -hmm. yeah, there. We will be entering the castle. No, we will not be going into the castle. Only the cathedral. Like, fine. I have been there to a, um, a ball. Yeah, so like a party is going to be in there. And we help. Yes, that. yeah, so that's the castle. The castle. And there's the cathedral. You can see the top of the cathedral. The big cathedral. And just beside it, we have another church. <laughs> this one is a, is also a church. The church and then the cathedral. Welcome to Church of Sweden, Svenska Sharkan. Now let's have a short walk going to the cathedral. The cathedral is made of local bricks, giving the structure a unique red color that brightens up the landscape in winter. Its spires reach 394 feet or 120 meters in height. It has an impressive architectural interior design, which is French Gothic. It has a greatest church organ called the Rafati organ. One chapel contains 14th century murals describing the legend of Saint Eric, the patron saint of Sweden. The scene shows his coronation, crusades to Finland, and eventually execution at the hand of the Danes. You can also visit the relics of St. Eric and in a golden coffin in a chapel of the nave. 
Other tombs of the notable personages in the cathedral include the Reformation rebel, King Gustav Vasa, his son Johann III, the botanist Linnaeus, and the philosopher theologian Swedenborg. And also the Sweden's first Lutheran Archbishop, Laurentius Petri. They have an interesting candlestick sculpture called the Tree of Reconciliation of Man, created in 1968, designed by Olaf Hellstrom. You are welcome to Uppsala Cathedral. They offer services, concerts, guided tours, and cultural events. The cathedral is open daily, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., with a few exceptions. When services or concerts, accessibility may be restricted. Outside, you can take a look at the cathedral's graveyard, which features many interesting tombstones carved with runes. After the guided tour, you can have a bowling activity near the Uppsala Cathedral. In a single frame, each player is given two chances to knock down all the 10 pins that are arranged at the end of the lane. Tinan natin kung ilan ang makuha ako. Not bad for the first time. The bowling center also offers food and we have our dinner first before we go back to our accommodation. Dina <laughs> maobos. An IKEA? Where's the IKEA? They are the world's largest home furnishing retailer. For the main time, they are preparing to make a new home in the Philippines. On 2021, IKEA store will be open in Pasay City. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.